In this video, we will review how to configure which messages are received within Trader Workstation and how to configure the sounds played when certain events are triggered. Depending on your preferences, you may want to enable or disable certain messages or sounds that are triggered while you are trading. Both messages and sounds can be managed within the TWS Global Configuration. First, we will focus on messages. When you receive an information or confirmation message in TWS, we include a checkbox in the bottom left corner with the text, Don't display this message again. If you elect to hide a message, you can enable it again at any time within Global Configuration. On the left hand menu, select Messages. On the right pane, the available list of messages that can be enabled or disabled will be displayed. Use the checkboxes on the far right side to enable or disable certain messages. A check mark indicates the message is enabled, and a blank box indicates the message is disabled. You can enable all the messages to be received by clicking Enable All in the center of the page. Once satisfied, select Apply. For example, I currently have the Cash Quantity Order Confirmation and Cash Quantity Warnings enabled. As you can see, these messages pop up when I place an order with a cash quantity instead of a share quantity. I can check the box for Don't display this message again before transmitting the order, which will disable these messages from being received in the future. To confirm these are disabled, open the global configuration and the cash quantity messages no longer have check marks indicating that they are indeed disabled. I can re enable by checking the box, then selecting Apply and OK at the bottom. Next, we will review the Sound Manager. While you are trading, you may want to receive sound alerts to notify you when certain events are triggered, such as orders being filled or cancelled. To do so, Select Sound Manager from the left-hand side of the global configuration. The list of available events is displayed in the middle and you can enable a sound with a checkbox to the left of the event. The file name column will display the type of sound currently configured for that event. Click the triangle button to select from the default sounds available, which are voice, bell, double bell, alarm clock, siren or chime. Alternatively, you may upload your own sound file to be played when the event is triggered by clicking on the three ellipses and selecting the file you would like to upload. To preview the sound, click on the Play button. I can also enter the number of times the sound should repeat. For example, if I wanted to be notified that my closing order was filled with a custom horn sound, I would check the box on the left to enable the sound and then select the three ellipses to upload my sound file. I can preview the sound and elect to make it repeat if I would like. As we have discussed, configuring which messages are enabled in TWS can help provide warnings for certain events or, in some cases, it may be more beneficial for you to disable receiving certain messages to speed up the trading process. It can also be beneficial to create sound alerts within TWS to notify you when certain events are, are triggered.